Hello. Okay, so when I develop breadboard circuits, um, people have often seen me using my little USB to DuPont power adapter. Only uh, my old one's uh, broken, so I'm going to make a new one, and I thought I'd record it. Now I start off with an old USB cable. What's on the other end doesn't matter, but I don't know about you, but I always accumulate these because everything you get comes with a new one. This style of strippers doesn't always work on thicker wires. Now the composition inside one of these can vary from one cable to the next heavily. Particularly some of the ultra cheap wires uh, will, will miss the outer shielding. But all the ones that I've pulled apart do have a distinct red and black line, which are the power lines. Apart from a little bit of rigidity, they're the only ones we're really interested in. To take the power to my circuit, I like to use the silicone covered wire because it's, uh, it's really quite flexible. Now for the DuPont connector, this is the remains of a kit I bought from Amazon. And I do have a separate video on how to use one of these crimp tools. This particular set of pins has uh, got slightly bent in transport, I think. Need to straighten them. Now you want the insulation to just go into the area where it's going to get clamped. Now I want to heat shrink the results. And I've got one of these little kits off. I don't know, I can't actually remember if it was eBay or Amazon, but that gives me a, a nice range of bits of heat shrink. I'm going to get the heat gun out. If you don't have a heat gun, you can do this pretty effectively just with a lighter or even the tip of your soldering iron held close. And what I'm going to try and do here is put these wires back on themselves so I get a slightly bigger grip on the material there. There's a finished cable. Let's give it a try. Now I use a desk device a lot of the time, but uh, there's a little USB battery pack. There you go, that's working fine. <laughs> 